Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Water is matter. Air is matter. Pizza is matter. Our phones are made of matter. Most things that we can see or touch are made of matter. On the flip side, what is not matter? An example is sound, which is a form of energy. We break up matter into two categories, substances, which are pure, and mixtures of substances, which are not pure. In this video, we will talk about substances. A substance will be homogeneous, which means it will all look the same. In addition, at the atomic level, it will have a definite composition, which means it will be made of a bunch of the same microscopic thing. This can be hard to see, but it means that the substance will have unique properties like color, density, melting point, or boiling point. Finally, a substance cannot be separated by physical means. That means a substance cannot be broken down into its parts using only a physical process. For example, water is a substance. I cannot break a water molecule into its parts, one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms, by filtration or heating or any other physical method. I would need a chemical reaction to separate water into its parts. Elements and compounds are the two types of substances that exist in the universe. Elements are made of atoms. One element cannot be broken down or changed into another element, unless we are using radioactive decay, which we are not talking about here. We have identified 118 elements in the universe, and we list these on the periodic table. Compounds are made of molecules. Molecules are atoms that are bonded, chemically joined together. Molecules can only be broken apart by a chemical reaction. Some examples are sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. We identify compounds by their unique physical properties that are the same no matter how much of the compound we measure. 